Everybody is missing someone. Yeah. It's uh, even if you have a friend abroad or if you have, uh, there's always someone mm -hmm. or something. And Christmas is the cold, the lights, the mm -hmm. cozy fires and things. Mm -hmm. We're back home, it is barbecues and beaches and oh, things okay. like that. Okay. And where did you meet your wife? Um, in a pub. <laughs> We're in Ireland, so in a, in a pub in the Arlington. Now it's not a kind of place that I suppose two of us would go normally, but we happened to be there, you know, and I was actually chasing somebody else when she came along and that was the story there. Yeah. So what was it about her then so that made you not want to chase the other person? Um, she, she had a joy, she had this joy and this acceptance. I proposed in Prague about 14 years ago, but she, she twigged before we went. She says when we're going to Prague and we were talking about Prague and all that. She said, you're going to ask me, aren't you, in Prague? And I said, yeah, so I did, you know? <laughs> so who would be the person that you most admire? It's really, it's going to sound like I'm a, uh, like cringy, but my mum, I suppose. Why your mum? She's just the best. Would you say that your mum's really proud of you? Oh yeah, very much so. Just, just happy who I am, I suppose, who I've grown up to be and how I look after myself. I think she's happy with mm -hmm. the way I am because I follow her lead. She's very spiritual, so I'm trying to follow her lead. She's a uh, she's practiced shaman. She's been to Ma Machu Picchu to play Machu Picchu two years ago. Wow! And they'd done like a ritual on top of Machu Picchu with two shamans, and like literally brought up everything from our past life. Do and you believe in past lives? Yeah. Yeah. It was Celtic Druid in my past life. Why? So just I feel like a big strong connection to that. I'm kind to me especially because of Hill of Tara. Tara. That's where I got this necklace. It's like the spiral Celtic spirals. Okay. Uh, my dad has one as well, it's like a connection thing we have. I don't know why I'm feeling like I can talk to you about it, it's really weird, because I don't really talk about it to many people. I talk yeah. about it, but like I only talk about it to people who feel like have connections to it, and I yeah. weirdly felt like you did as well. So how long have you been with him? Um, like two and a half years. Right okay. now I'm since I'm like 13. <laughs> so did you grow up in the same area? Yeah. So when did you, so you, so you got with him two and a half years ago? Yeah, we were with each other for a little while when we were like 16, and then we went our separate ways for a few years, and mm -hmm. then we... He came back together again, so. Is he the one? Don't know. <laughs> don't ask it, don't put this on telly. <laughs> I was locked up in Paris for being a nice guy. You were locked up in yeah, Paris? Yeah. What did you do in Paris? Well, I bought, uh, I went over there, I was traveling in antiques, so I went over there and I went to a place, I was, I was there in the 60s with a band, I had a band playing there in the 60s. What was the name of the band? Creatures, Les Creatures. They played in a place called The Locomotive, in the Montmartre. Beautiful Living part of in Paris. Rouge, yeah. Mm. But anyway, I bought a painting for my niece, a lovely child in, you know, like a child in glass. And when I went to the bar, the thing was gone, so I lost the head. Have you ever blamed somebody else for something no, that you did? No, don't. No, I roughed it. I slept rough in Birmingham. And London. that's my own fault. Don't blame anybody else. Mm -hmm. I have no sympathy for anybody. It blames everybody. Uh, this year, I'm going to head to Mullingar for Christmas. As the child of divorced parents, I get a great choice between my dad and my mum. And uh, this year, I have chosen my mum. Uh, I, I switch around every year. Like uh, one year I'll be in England, one year I'll be in Ireland. And uh, this year it's Ireland, so I'm and happy. Do you ever feel guilty then? Do you miss your dad? Or? Oh, totally. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but uh, the great thing, I know the, the guilt is bad, but getting two sets of presents off your parents really helps <laughs> with the guilt, you know what I mean? And if you could be found this Christmas? Just to be happy, continue to be happy. Happiness is the most important thing I find, so. What is your girlfriend like? She's the best, that's all I don't know how to describe it. She's the best. Uh, she's finishing our last year in college, so we can go to Australia. So I'm just waiting on her to finish. Okay, and what's I like she... checking my watch every day, like, come what? on, will you? So you're, you're going to move, you're going to go to Australia? Yeah, just take a break for a while. Okay. Do a little travelling around Australia, maybe get a camp van over there. We do like camp vans. Yeah. <laughs> I do fire performing. I do, do loads of, like, like, fire breathing and. Uh, fire pie and things like that. How so, did you get into that? Um, when I was about 18, I got approached by like a dancing and performing agency. And yeah, they just, when I started working with them, they were like, look, you'll get like a lot more work if you just learn how to do fire. So, yeah. um, how do you learn how to do fire though? It's, it's like, they, <laughs> I don't even know how to say it, they just showed me once and then they just sent me to a gig that weekend. Wow. So I was literally just dropped in the deep end. I came back here about 40 years ago and I'd been in London and then I went into a bar up there, what do you call it, um, 
the Clarendon and I met some guys up in the shop here in Drury Street. Okay. He was uh, doing knitting machines. So from there on, I started working. I worked for Paul Castle. It sounds name dropping. I built a ba badass in 83, the cedar tree in 86. Okay. That's the 30th. So you, you never set out to do things. It happens. Uh, do you play any music or anything? I tried. It uh, drove me mad. My mother could play a harmonica. My father played a squeeze box, as I call it. Played a one string fiddle. Now that's one. Wow. Nobody has. The one string fiddle? Yeah, I gave it away to a guy down on Six Mile Bridge who played the fiddle. What's the best yeah. present that anyone ever bought you? Bert. Bert? I mean, like, what can I, what can I say to that?